So Pastor Kim asked me to do a testimony. So I'll try to cram everything in three minutes. Make it short and compact. Because, you know, life is life and vapor, so I should be able to fit my life in the three minutes. <laughs> I was born into a Christian home. My dad was a deacon. My mom was a church clerk. So I grew up in church. I grew up loving Jesus. When I was five, I would tell other kids about Jesus when I went to the doctor's. I went to the doctor quite a bit because I had asthma and it seemed like I was always sick. Uh, my dad played guitar at church. Uh, I would run up and sit right behind him when he played guitar at church and sit behind his amps. And, and when he went off to play music, I'd go with him and sit behind his amps. And at five years old, I couldn't keep my hands off my dad's guitars. <sighs> Let's see. When I was 13 years old, the pastor of the church asked me, if I believe Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And I thought, are you crazy? Of course Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I've been coming here since I was a little kid. I, I know Jesus is the way. But he asked me to stand up in front of the church and declared that. So at 13, I did. I stood up in front of the church, and then I went in the back and shook everybody's hand. I thought, well, this is just silly. I mean, I love Jesus. Um, when I was 15 years old, I asked my parents if I could play in a rock band. Uh, my dad said, you know, I know you're a strong Christ follower even at your young age, and yeah, you can. So I went to work playing in a rock band, and I was playing with other kids around my age. Uh, when my other friends were working in fast food and pumping gas, I was playing music and giving guitar lessons on the side. Um, that was my work. That was how I, that was just my work. Uh, I lost my dad at 19. And I dove in deep to God's word. Really deep. I continued to play rock music. Like I said, that's how I was making my living. I was a musician. It was not a garage band. It was the music business, and it was treated like a business. It's, I know when you hear stuff about bands in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, it's all drugs and sex, and it was none of that stuff like that. I had managers telling me, you can't eat, you gotta stay thin, you gotta drink lots of water, you can't do this, you gotta be in bed by a certain time. It was a business, and it was treated like a business. When I was probably 25, I was playing six nights a week. I would rush home, no matter how far I was, and go to church with my mom. Every Sunday, I'd go to church with my mama. And then one day, what took me away from Jesus and took me away from God was a woman. I met a girl at one of our shows. And I told my mom, I'm going to give up my place in Walnut Creek. And I'm going to move in with this lady. My mom's like, are you kidding, are you kidding me? That's shacking up, son. You can't do that. There's no blessings in that. No, Mom, I think I'm going to do this. Even my band was against it. Management was against it. I went ahead and did it anyways. I got to tell you, there's no blessings in doing that. Mm -hmm. Even if you grow up knowing who God is. And the girl was right. She told me, oh, that's going to change. You're not going to be going to church. She was right. I stopped going to church. I quit reading my Bible. I drifted away. I always prayed. I lost my band, moved out of state. I went to work in a factory. Uh, I hated my life. I hated what my life became. That relationship went really bad. And there was no blessings whatsoever in that relationship. It was so bad, I grabbed one guitar, one amp, the clothes I was wearing, got in my car, and I got out of there and headed back to California. I was homeless and I was starting over, but I wasn't seeking God yet. I got to California, showed up on my mom's door. You are right, here I am. That was the worst thing I ever did. Wished I never made that mistake. Uh, two days later, I had a job working for an electrician. Did that for about a month. Made a phone call to some old musicians. I was back in music, playing music again, part-time. Um, Six months after that, my mom died. Mm -hmm. 
and I was crushed. When my dad died, I turned to Jesus. When my mom died, I did not turn to Jesus. I went down a dark path, not drugs and alcohol. I've never been in the drugs and alcohol. Even through all my time of being a musician and playing, I never went down that path. I met Michelle. I dated Michelle uh, for two years. Um, I told Michelle, you're on the wrong path. You need to be on the path about God. I wasn't even on the right path at that time. Who was I to tell her she was on the wrong path? <laughs> the first eight years of our marriage, I was gone six months out of the year playing music, and that's just being a musician part-time. Uh, I had a job working. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, there's no difference in playing in a band and working at Safeway or at a gas station. It's A job is a job, and that's how... We view it. Michelle and I laugh when we hear about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. For me, it wasn't like that. It was not like that. Uh, she woke up one Sunday. We moved up here. It happened to be Easter. This is probably maybe two weeks after I had a heart attack. Uh, and by then, I went to work more full time for CB Richard Ellis. Uh, I'm like, what are you doing? She's getting dressed up fancy. I'm like, well, what's going on? What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> I go, what are you doing? What are you? I don't know about you, but I'm going to church. I'm going to go to that little church down in Jackson. Well, if you're going, I'm going too. <laughs> so I got up, got dressed. Right where that table is, right back there, that second tile over, that's where I sat. Because this place was packed that Sunday morning. And I sat on the... I sat on the edge of the chair. And my heart was breaking. It was breaking for Jesus. So right then and there, I rededicated myself to Jesus. And Michelle and I have been coming here ever since. Mm -hmm. The band that I was playing in part-time, I quit that band. Um, I continue to work for CB Richard Ellis, but I'm telling you right now, between a band and a job, there's no difference. I've seen craziness in both. Uh, without Jesus, you're out of tune, mm. and without Jesus, you're out of time. Mm. And if you don't have Jesus in your life, and you die out of tune, and out of time, Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Yep. I love Jesus with all my heart. You know, and I tell Michelle now, I said, you know, working physically is really hard on my body. I don't know how many years I could keep climbing underneath the sink and fixing things or getting on a ladder and doing electrical work and stuff. Um, one of these days, I'm telling my wife, I'm going to return to music and play professionally again. It's easier on my body. But where I go, I'm taking Jesus with me. Mm. That is not going to change. And I'll never drift away again because I have a wife that loves Jesus. And, but more importantly, I love Jesus. Mm, amen. So with that, that's my vapor of life in three minutes. And I was so blessed to have the parents I did. I was so blessed to have a father that was a musician that loved Jesus. I was blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Let's pray for Robert.